Hey everybody, this is Erica, the technology nerd who likes to film stuff, and we have a Samsung Galaxy Note 3 right here on my lap. This is actually the second one that I've had today, and that's why I'm in the car right now, and I'm going to do an unboxing right here, right now. Why not? The very first one I was doing, I was in my normal environment, unboxing it, and I realized that I had a quite defective display. Half the display was a warm tone, and the rest of the display was more of a cooler tone, and it was incredibly noticeable. This is something that should have never made it through quality control. It did. I went to the T-Mobile store. They were quite concerned about it. We actually had three different phones. We were looking, comparing to see if all of them were the same, and it looked like the first one I had was the only one that really had that issue. This is a problem with AMOLED displays. Again, that should have not gone through quality control. So what I can say to you is if you get a phone that does not meet your expectations quality control wise, please go and exchange it and get another one because there are definitely better samples than what I had initially. So this is Sheldon. I have affectionately named this guy Sheldon. And I had to get the T-Mobile version because as I had thought and as was confirmed today, it is the one with an unlocked bootloader. AT&T has one with a locked bootloader and that is the biggest insult when it comes to Android phones, especially a phone with this much power. People like to load custom ROMs on it. People want custom firmware. And you can't really do that with a locked bootloader. That was a really big problem with my Galaxy S4. It was a nightmare. So I'm very happy that I got the T-Mobile version this time. So this display is huge. Is it 5.7? 5.7 inches. I can't wait to do some measurements of this display and see how it looks. I have had a chance to look at the pixels thus far and I can tell that it's got that diamond pentile like arrangement. It's basically the Galaxy S4 display that was stretched from 5 inches up to almost 6 inches. So as you can imagine the pixel density is not like on the Galaxy S4 and not like on a lot of the other phones that are coming out on the market. Although it does look quite nice still although I am seeing because of the arrangement I can see pink borders from the sub pixel arrangement and that's one thing that I'm not liking so much otherwise Samsung has changed the look of the device Let's see if I can try to refocus here on the side come on refocus on the side here you can see that there are these ridges and I guess Samsung is trying to make this look more like a book and I'm not liking it so much. I really did appreciate that brushed aluminum kind of finish that was on the Galaxy S4 over this. This looks quite cheap to me, although that back cover feels very, very nice. I think that that cheap siding is really covered up by this really great back cover. It's very rigid, and this is not a faux leather. It really feels like a silicone or a TPU that's been placed on top of the normal plastic. So this feels very great in hand. It still smudges with fingerprints, honestly, but they're not as noticeable. And if you have sweaty fingers, you're not going to be slipping and dropping your phone. So that that's great. So I can't wait to do a full first impressions of this. I'm going to be doing pretty much an in-depth impressions of this. One thing that I'm also noting at the bottom is that there is this speaker grill that's pretty subpar compared to what we had on the Note 2, what I'm recording on right now. I did play Candy Crush Saga before I realized that the display was absolutely awful. And I could hear some clipping at the highest volume. So I did try it on this one and it does that as well. I'm going to listen to some music and see if that's still a problem. Apparently it's a lot weaker than what's on the Galaxy Note 2. And it just doesn't sound as nice. So I'll have to really do some good tests on that and see how I feel. But this guy is quite nice. I have a 6.4 inch display on the Z Ultra and I thought that was a sweet spot. So I'm really curious to see how I will do with the display of this size, especially as I have my iPhone 5 somewhere here. The battery died. I tried filming with that first. So, you know, we've got this little tiny thing versus this. I'm going to be using both of these at the same time. So we've got this one on T-Mobile and this one on AT&T. And I just want to compare experiences. So let's go ahead and look at what's inside of the box here. There's nothing spectacular or special. So just everything you know, manuals. We've also got, you know, cables. Hopefully this will be a nice long one like usual. We've got a 2 amp charger. Got some headphone gels and also the headphones. 
Now, what are these? This is something that the T-Mobile people and I were looking at. We have no idea. What is this? You can see it looks like a clamp, and apparently this clamp is for these little pins, but I can't figure out what these pins are for. So if anybody has any idea, that would be great. So I'm going to be starting my first impressions of Shelly here, or Sheldon. Yes, Big Bang Theory comes to mind. Ooh, piece of fuzz. So thank you all for watching. I can't wait to check this out, and I will be back with you all soon. Bye!